So the thing that brought me to Seas, uh, there's a couple things, but the main thing is the people. So I think that a lot of, uh, particularly students, don't realize that science is a very collaborative endeavor. It's a very uh, human-focused endeavor. A lot of times people think science is just math or just experiments or things like that. But in reality, the, the, the greatest scientists I've often found are people who can collaborate well, who can um, ask the right questions, who can understand other people's work. Because there's no clear separation into, uh, into different departments at SEEDS, so you have more opportunity to naturally interact with a professor than students uh, with different backgrounds. What got me excited about research was wanting to solve puzzles. But not wanting to solve puzzles just the same old way that people solve puzzles. I was very much interested in putting different ideas together and connecting them in ways that people uh, had not thought about before. And the interesting thing about C's, or what really drew, drew me to C's, is the fact that, uh, and this might sound cliche, but uh, it is actually what drew, drew me to C's, is the interdisciplinary aspects. So I don't think that I don't think developing this ability to look at problems from different vantage points and put them together into something new, right? I don't think this is something that is possible unless the environment in which you're working fosters that or supports that. So Harvard was extremely attractive to me for a few reasons. Uh, one is that my research very nicely complements the existing strengths here in robotics and machine learning and optimization. Um, the other is uh, that this extraordinarily collaborative culture where I can easily collaborate with people who are experts in materials and manufacturing or electronics or vision, this is essential to doing uh, important robotics research. I'm trained as a wet biologist. I came into computation and mathematics because of the problems that I wanted to solve in biology. And so that means I have very narrow, I hope deep, but definitely very narrow knowledge of certain aspects of applied mathematics, probability theory, statistics, computer science, in the areas that I really needed to know. There's other problems I want to solve in biology um, that I've always wanted to solve in biology. Um, I want to attack them with mathematical and computational approaches and I just don't have the background to know what techniques are available in applied mathematics and computer science. So for me to be around real mathematicians, real computer scientists, real physicists uh, is super important. I, I love being in the middle of many different disciplines. Uh, often you sort of forget what your own disciplinary um, uh, barriers were and what your uh, disciplinary um, restrictions are uh, and you just flow freely because you're in the midst of all these people who are talking about all these different areas. So there's my colleagues but there's also the fact that we attract students that have that mindset. The ability to uh, interact with and, and educate and, and do research with the, some of the best students in the world, I mean come on you, you have to want to be doing that right? <laughs>